Greetings and welcome to Elizabeth Diecast videos. Today we have a brand new model from uh, Hot Wheels. The 15 Mercedes AMG GT. So Mattel finally got the license to Mercedes back last year. This is the first new Mercedes casting from Hot Wheels. And it's a very cool one. As you can see, this one has no extra graphics. It's, uh, it could be in the factory fresh uh, segment, uh, as far as I can tell. And we have tail lights and air lights. Now, isn't that cool? So I'm going to open this, have a closer look, and then compare it to uh, some of its competitors. So the casting itself is looking very nice in terms of uh, accuracy, proportions, it even has side mirrors, so that's a big plus. The wheels are good, the stance seems to be uh, very correct. Uh, like I said in the beginning, there it has tempos in the back, in the front, and it's always a big deal for me. Uh, sadly, as it's often the case with the Hot Wheels, uh, the tempos are not like put in the proper way it's this one is off centered you can see it here you can see it here uh, on the back it's better but uh, yeah so that's the thing uh, twills um, uh, it's I don't want to diss anybody, and uh, I'm sure they have reasons to uh, to do their stuff in Malaysia. But uh, whenever I compare Hot Wheels models made in Malaysia and made in Thailand, uh, Thailand always seems to be, be better, and it applies also with the premium lines. The premium lines are way better uh, when they're made in Thailand than they are when they're made in Malaysia. But anyway. Is it still a good model? Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. It is. At uh, for one dollar, at least, what that's what you pay in the U.S. Because I have to remind you, in the rest of the world, we pay a lot more. So yeah, it's a good model. Uh, no detail on on the sides. Uh, it could have been a cool, like uh, the vents here. That would have been nice. And. Uh, but yeah, I can uh, do that myself. So how does it compare to the competitors? Well. Uh, it's major competitor, especially now that uh, that uh, they have announced they will be distributed once again in the U.S. is Majorette. And here's what I have from Majorette. Same model, a different color. I don't have the yellow version. And this one was part of the racing uh, uh, limited edition, I think. So the first obvious difference is the scale. Uh, this one seems to be closer to 164. This one, does it say on the... This one is 160, so a little bit bigger. Uh, in terms of general stance, details, Majorette, once again, all the difference is the opening doors. Uh, we can peek inside and we can see that uh, we have a very, very detailed central control uh, console. We, the wheel is very nice, whereas here, as far as I can tell, I, I can't see much, but uh, the wheel is the usual thing, uh, mostly a blob. And the other difference is, yeah, suspension, is it that nice? But, other than that, what, what else separates the two? Well, this one has plastic head headlights, so that's cool, both have uh, side mirrors but this seems to be a little bit better the tempo thing situation at the front well this this one is properly aligned for the back they both have uh, tempos and uh, there's no clear winner here I have to say uh, this looks a little bland and it's the same color as the, the stripes so it looks like they're fake but on the sides we do have this Okay, so who's the winner? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I prefer this one because of the scale. 164, that's what I aim for. This one is a little too big, but in terms of quality, it's definitely better. At the same time, it's not the same price. 
And then, if we want to compare it to something totally different, we have the UCC. This, if you've watched, uh, I will put a link to my video at the end of uh, this one. Uh, this was part of a set made by UCC Coffee in Japan. And it's a very, very nice set. If you can uh, find them, uh, grab them, they're really cool. And this, in terms of quality, is closer to, uh, is very close to Kyosho. So we're talking premium. Uh, so how does it, how does the Outwheels compare? Well, in terms of scale, as you can see here, it seems like uh, we're on the same uh, ballpark here. Obviously, in terms of details and overall quality, the UCC wins by a long shot. It even has rubber tires and plastic insert in the front. But as you can see, the Hot Wheels model is pretty darn good for what it is. And uh, if they can release a premium version, maybe in the car culture series with the uh, rear riders and uh, maybe some uh, better details, then we will have a serious, serious winner. Uh, as for now, I think it's uh, for a $1, $1 quote uh, product. It's, it's pretty good and uh, if you need some uh, new Mercedes in your collection, this is a very good addition. Just make sure to check uh, the tempos in the front and the back before you buy. So that's it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.